congratulations on the film thank you really really enjoyed it i love i love the book as much as you do so i'm i'm really really glad that you got to make it um i wanted to ask you i know you obviously spoke about how blade runner doing blade runner and arrival kind of helped you become confident enough to maybe take on june and i wondered what sort of skills or what's what they gave you as a filmmaker to be able to once you've done those two movies to think to yourself maybe now is maybe the time that i could at least think about maybe taking on june it's a uh, it's uh, definitely both movies brought me a lot of knowledge about uh, uh visual effects and uh blade runner more specifically about world building and uh uh I learned so much, uh, and, and uh, I will say uh, I had on Blade Runner a real master class on uh, how to bring visual effects to life with Roger Deakins. I spent a year, an entire year with Roger, um, um, creating uh, uh, the visuals of Blade Runner uh, from scratch, from the artwork to uh, the visual effects, the final product. and. Um, for me, I, I, I learned everything there. And, and I, I will say, frankly, that uh, as I was doing myself the, the visual effects on, 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 on Dune, uh, I was uh, hearing Roger whispering in my ears, <laughs> uh, uh, remembering all his advices. Uh, uh, it, it, uh, I would have never been able to do Dune without uh, all of what I've learned on both movies. Yeah. And I always say that 90% of directing is casting and you've you've acquired a, a quite decent cast, I'd say. They're quite decent actors in, in, in June. Uh, how excited were you when you got these people to be involved? Because it says a lot about you as a filmmaker and the project of June and the story that so many people want to get involved and you were able to get Timothy at, at, the, top of, at the top of the pile. The thing is that uh, uh, I will say that no matter what people think of the movie, a thing that I didn't mess up was the, the the casting. I think that when you read the book and we you see the cast on screen, the, the description of the characters in the book are very, very close to the actors I, I had the chance to work with. I mean, it's a, 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 they really embody the spirit and the qualities of the characters. And uh, what was beautiful about the, the, doing this casting is that uh, the book is beloved in the acting community and that uh, people were excited to come on board. And I didn't have to convince nobody. And, and honestly, it was like really a, a beautiful uh, journey to, to cast this movie. Yeah, very exciting. And and how, I wanted to ask you about the challenges of filming on IMAX, because I know that, you know, obviously Christopher Nolan kind of did a lot of stuff on, on Batman and a lot of people have taken that on. How did you find working in the, the IMAX format? And did it, did it change anything in terms of your, your filmmaking? Yes, uh, uh, I um, my first experience with with IMAX was on Blade Runner. Mm. I remember uh, uh, we had shot the movie in two thirty five, but uh, Roger had always took the the, the precaution to make sure that the, the one point nine will be uh, uh, safe for IMAX, and um, I uh, I was impressed when we did the blow up that uh, um, the the IMAX version how it increased intimacy with the characters. And uh, that, uh, that uh, announcement of intimacy uh, uh, really surprises me because I thought it was, IMAX was all about, about scope. And, and uh, um, Dune is a story of a, a young man, an introspective journey of a, of a young man that uh, discovered uh, uh, a new culture and make peace of, with part of his identity uh, as he's going deeper into a landscape and that relationship uh, of, of the, the the landscape with the psyche of the character i thought was imax was absolutely perfect to 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 work uh, um, I, I, I thought that to shoot the desert in a square, a square format was definitely something that uh, will help us to bring something fresh to the screen and also that uh, 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 to bring some kind of verticality into the landscape would bring unnecessary to create some kind of vertigo uh, uh, feeling with with the uh, uh, to create that impact of the landscape and 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 uh, again in contrast with that enhance intimacy uh, uh, I thought uh, the IMAX was perfect for that but it, it it does require a different way of framing and 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 cutting a movie. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time, Denny. I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to part two, hopefully. Fingers crossed.
Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!